So Adobe is listed as one of those companies in your book, and they recently made a very pivotal acquisition. The CEO did, right? Mm -hmm. And and candidly, I think there was some criticism of him for it in that uh, he paid a lot of money um, for for the company that he bought, but his long term vision, as an example, is that it's really going to be a bold move. Twenty billion dollars to me is a lot of money. Can you speak a little bit about you know that situation specifically? I don't know much about. Uh, the deal you're referring to, Dan, but here's what I do know about Shantanu Narayanan and Adobe. Uh, Shantanu took on uh, Adobe, I don't know, six or seven years ago at this point. Its market cap when he took it on was $20 billion. He completely reframed the game in terms of its vision and what it wanted to do in the field it was in and, and the like, right? So if you go back somewhere in the book, we've kind of contrasted the old Old, old Adobe versus the new vision that uh, that Shantanu put in place. Oh, okay, fast forward, and I know tech stocks went up a lot, but they've also come down a lot. It's a $250 billion market cap company, right? It's a 10x shift between the market cap he took on and where it is today, right? Um, I think he's earned the right. <laughs> I, I don't know the specifics of the deal you're talking about. Uh, but I think he's on the right. And, uh, you know, there, 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 there are a couple of interesting things about Adobe, uh, about Shantanu. I, I shouldn't talk about Adobe. I, I don't know much about them, but I do do know this from my conversation with Shantanu. Number one, he's always remained true to the North Star of his vision, right? Where do they want the company to go? And to that end, he is less worked up. And, and all, by the way, in my view, most great CEOs are less worked up around quarterly earnings versus what I believe I need to do to get to the end goal. That's not to say they don't worry about quarterly earnings, and don't, don't look to deliver against it, but that is not their driving motivation. Their driving motivation is where am I headed, right? That, that, that's the first thing. The, the second is uh, with, with, with Adobe, as is true of others, they, they tend to kind of focus uh, m and in, in programmatic ways. You know they will they will typically do five percent eight percent of the company market cap wise in M and A every year, right? And then and then they'll do that for five years in a row, and suddenly forty percent or fifty percent of the company is different, right? But they tend not to do big bang M and A, and twenty billion may seem a lot, but in the con, you know, it's it's less than you know ten percent market cap of the company. So in that context, it's very much part of you know, a programmatic M&A play. And then the third is, you know, one of the great defining features of, of uh, Shantanu is uh, every one of these great CEOs has a, has a process that they, they, they love. And Shantanu in particular has a great bottoms up innovation process in the company, which surfaces hundreds of ideas that get vetted and then get used in, 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 in appropriate ways. And I'm, I'm sure without knowing the details of this acquisition, that that innovation agenda will play into, into the acquisition as well.